Man, the stuff you learn riding a bike. So I was just thinking about this. I just got back from vacation, had a great time with my family. And I was thinking about on the plane, because that's what I do, I think a lot on the plane. I was thinking about this hill that I climb up weekly, several times a week. And I remember when I first started climbing this hill, it actually has a really steep incline. And so, and I only climb up just so I can ride down, because I really like the trails going down. I like to go fast and make ridiculous decisions about going down the hill as fast as I can uh, to shave seconds off my time, even though I'm not racing. Anyways, I was thinking about this climb, and I, I used to approach this climb thinking it will get easier the more I do it. And, <laughs> and I remember the last time I was climbing up, and this has been months since I started climbing this hill with consistency, and so here's the, here's the thing. I'm in better shape, and the hill's still hard to climb. So every time I climb this hill, I'm thinking, when is this going to end? This is hard. Um, and even if I'm not, I shouldn't even say every time I'm climbing that I'm thinking that. But that is what it is. It is hard to climb every time. And the last time I was climbing that, I was thinking, this is still hard, even though I'm in better shape. Um, my times are within a range. Sometimes it's better than others. Uh, but the mo for the most part, I was thinking, this is this is interesting because... It doesn't always get easier, and I think we're taught that. We're taught to think that it gets easier, but not all the time. It doesn't get easier all the time. And I think, uh, you know, I did a video on waiting to be happy, which is on my website, drjasonrichardson.com. And, and I think this is kind of the same deal. It's like, if I don't enjoy the climbing and I only enjoy the descent, then that's taking away from my experience of the whole thing. And while I'm not a huge fan of the climbing, I'm learning to appreciate it more, at the very least, because it's hard. And I'm, I'm learning to appreciate it more, which adds to my total experience. Because we coast. And we like coasting and we like that free speed. We like things to be easy. Uh, and I think that sometimes we take for granted the work we put in. And I'm talking about hard workers. Uh, we take for granted the work that we actually do put in. And we tell ourselves that it's not enjoyable. Um, it may be hard. Uh, and that's fine. Climbing is hard. And that's fine. And so, and it was something that ages ago in my late teens early 20s that I just didn't do I just didn't do it uh, I, I even used to go to the gym and think oh man weights ain't nothing but heavy um, I didn't like lifting weights but I learned to appreciate it and over time I actually learned to enjoy the climb I learned to enjoy the effort um, thus making the whole experience more worth it because let's face it I climb that mountain, that hill, and it gets steep, 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 steep. And the descent, one trail is maybe two minutes, three minutes. Another one's five. I can do it on under five if I'm really fast. But I spend 15 minutes climbing, 12 if I'm really feeling it, 20 if I'm not. And I think there's value in both. But again, if I'm lamenting that climb, if I'm hating it, if I'm at the very least not appreciating it, it's taking away from the enjoyment of the whole experience. So things get rough, things get tough, whether it's by choice or by circumstance. And so my message to you today is learn to climb, learn to appreciate the climb. And as my friend Greg Romero would say, the mind will quit before the body does, which is uh Weak connection, sorry, weak connection. The mind will quit before the body does. So that's a that's something that, that resonates with me. Anyways, have a great Monday, have a great day. Connect with me on Twitter at real Dr. J Rich or on my website, drjasonrichardson.com. Look forward to speaking with you. I love you all and take care.